Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales. In the middle of November, and it feels like a spring day. Other than the brown leaves on the trees, today is absolutely fantastic. Mid-60s, maybe going to hit 70. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. I haven't posted in a little while. We've been busy. It, things have just been selling, you know, kind of before they go online. But anyways, got a super, super, super nice coach uh, to present to you today. And I appreciate you tuning in. Hit the subscribe button. Share it with a couple buddies, our channel. We are growing, 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 and, and I love it. So trying to keep up the momentum. But here we go. 2019 Jayco. Seneca 37 TS. So this one has the single bath kind of midway in the coach, lots of living space, three slide outs, 13,000 original miles. She is polished, protected, detailed inside and out. Beautiful paint job, polished wheels, Michelin tires. Again, three slide outs. Um, 360 horsepower Cummins under the hood. And look at that. So this one's a 19 that I'm doing the video. There's its like older brother. That's a 2018 over there in for a winter rise and a service. Here in a minute, I'm going to open up the belly boxes. I am blown away with the amount of storage on this coach. Um, to be right under 39 foot, I think it's like 38 foot 7 inches tip to tip and around 13 foot tall. I am blown away with the amount of storage. And here in a second, I'll show you. 12,000 pound towing capacity, just your standard two inch receiver with your seven, your seven way cord. Again, you can see the hitch rating there. Chase Motorsports, coach and trailer sales, chasecoach.com for all of the photos. I think 185 or six pictures we posted. Uh, it's on the website. Um, people always ask about price, and we don't post it on the videos, but it's on our website. Every listing will have a price. So if you go to chasecoach.com, you look at all the pictures, get a price, uh, et cetera. But here in just a moment, I'll open up the storage bays. We'll take a quick spin through those. Outdoor entertainment, Bluetooth stereo, probably a 40-inch TV, I'm going to say. Got it playing. Again, the paint on this thing, a little bit of metallic silver, white, black, and then like a Pepsi blue. It's the 37TS, which is on the uh, J-Ride Premium. They made that change a few years back, and it is an air ride chassis with air brakes as well. So 360 horsepower Cummins, the 6.7 liter, 800 uh, foot-pounds of torque on the transmission, and that's a uh, six-speed Allison. Again, this coach is like new, just a shade over 13,000 miles, uh, Michelin, rubber, knee deep all the way around it. So stand, uh, stand by in just a moment. We'll open up the compartment doors, take a quick spin through those, and then we'll go inside. Appreciate you watching again and uh, be right back. All right, got all the compartment doors open. We'll go this way. So first three are storage. And what I like about this is they're all open. So you go on the first one, you know, it's like, I don't know, 12 or 15 foot long, all carpet line. And look at that. The way they built this, you've got about probably a 12 to 14 inches on top of the frame rails to the bottom of the coach where you could set lawn chairs, folding tables, uh, you know, um, you could put um, cornhole boards, just trying to think of cool things that would set in that area. So the first three are storage. Again, we talked about earlier, outdoor entertainment, TV, Bluetooth, stereo. Uh, back here is going to be the, the carpeted area on the top is either, I think it's either the black or gray, or it might be the freshwater tank. So behind that carpeted area is one of the tanks. Below it is the propane tank. Um, I think it's a 13, no, it's a 16 and a half gallon. I'm looking at the label on it. Next compartment back is storage. Also has a little light, which is super handy when it's dark out. Last compartment on the right rear is also storage. Something I don't know if I mentioned earlier, this has like a huge picture window in the back, which that's where the master bedroom is. Very, very neat. Well, I'll show you that obviously when we go inside. Um, 8,000 watt Onan diesel generator with a measly 290 hours. I don't even think that's past the break-in stage. Um, 
The previous owner was generous enough to write our Napa oil and air filter number, which tells me he serviced it. We also serviced it, so it's fresh. Uh, back here is the wet bay. We've got our valves for, you know, if you're wanting to fill the tank, if you're dry camping, city water, if you're winterizing. It does have a macerator pump. Uh, it's got your fittings for your black and gray, a little place to put some paper towels, and also has the, the black tank flush, which is the black um, deal here. You would just pop this off and connect your hose. Uh, you do have a little spray away connection, which is what the blue spiral little flexible hose goes to, and you do have a whole house water filter as well on it. Uh, this coach does have a re electric retractable 50 amp shore power reel. It's mounted there. So again, this side, we have three storage bays. And then if you look up, you can see the little area that, you know, jumps over the frame rails and down to the other side. So storage bay one, storage bay two, storage bay number three. It does have an inverter. Uh, let me see what size that is. That is a 2000 watt Freedom Exantrax inverter. The controls are inside for it. Uh, and that's keeping our residential fridge. Uh, we can run the TVs and a few of the outlets on the coach uh, without having the generator on. The next compartment up is going to be the batteries. So we've got four house batteries and then two engine batteries. They're on a, a very neat one of the more ride sliding trays. So you pull those two little black pins up, pull the tray out, and you have full access to the engine and the house batteries or also known as the chassis in the house battery. So six batteries total, four for the house side and then the two engine. Um, def fluid, probably a 12 or 15 gallon def tank, holds 100 gallons of diesel. And to fill the diesel, I did not mention that, that is back here behind the left rear tire. It says ultra low sulfur diesel fuel only. So you just pop this little guy loose and got your fill for your diesel in there. We inspect these coaches pretty dang thoroughly. If you'll see some of the inventory that we sell, it's most of the time customers are mind blown at the attention to detail with our guys. 13,169 miles um, on the dash. We do have in-dash navigation. It does have equalizer, four-point hydraulic leveling, flex steel furniture. It's probably one of the, well, not the last, but one of the last coaches produced with flex steel. Love the Flex Steel product line. They're still in business. They just uh, they strictly went to the um, housing market, so doing the household furniture. I'm going to pop the hood and show you that underneath the hood is just as clean as the outside of the coach, okay? Whoops, there we go. All right, 6.7 liter Cummins, 360 horse, but look at that. Incredible condition, six-speed Allison transmission paired up with it, but just super nice stuff. So that's about all on the all on the outside. We actually have the guys from the glass company here, and they are replacing the windshield because when we were inspecting, you can see the crack. So that one's fixing to come out. These guys are mobile; they come on site. Great people right here in Paducah, and gonna get us taken care of. All right here we go. Electric entry steps, of course has the screen door built into the entry door. All right. Um, start out by saying this coach sleeps eight people comfortable. So you have like, I'm going to say it's a between a full and a queen size, big, big bunk area. Windows on each side above the cab that you got. Um, actually, it sleeps more than that. It sleeps nine or ten. So you got two above the cab. You've got a queen size high to bed, Flex Steel brand there. The dining table drives down, makes a bed. This little deal turns into a jackknife bed, and then there's a king-size bed in the back for two. So, I mean, if one adult was sleeping here, it sleeps nine. If, if you know, if it's a couple kids on this one, it sleeps 10, okay? So, this also has the walk-through cab. When you take this ladder off that accesses the bunk, you can actually raise this up, and you can kind of see there, you can, you know, walk into the cab without really ducking down much. Uh, for a tall person, it's very, very nice. As I showed you earlier, um, very clean interior, uh, equalizer systems, four-point hydraulic leveling, in-dash navigation with backup cam. Um, this is the cushion for when you turn the dinette into a bed. That is the cushion that goes in the middle. You also have a full privacy curtain. 
Uh, you can check out the photos online of that, but it slides over from left to right there. So again, a big sofa turns into a queen size. It's a hide -a bed so it pulls out, folds out, makes a nice bed. You do have day and night shades throughout the coach, so you've got the day shade, which is this one. They're not powered. They're manual. Not a bad thing, though. A manual shade is, in my opinion, is very much enough okay now sometimes the powered ones love powered shades but when they start messing up they are a pain to fix i like how this coach has a big window too over the dinette you know it's got the smaller window here behind the sofa and then a bigger window over here behind the dinette i just think it makes it look more modern let me turn this tv down excuse me just a second i've got it and this is just playing that that clear picture is just off of like the amplified antenna that the coach comes with that's not direct tv um that's not a dvd plan that's just off of like glorified rabbit ears and look at that very 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 nice so back to this way uh dinette seats four people turns into a bed for two uh both sets of original keys all the original owner's manuals everything included and then the kitchen lots of cabinetry okay uh, you do have space here if you want to put a dishwasher in. We carry those in stock. If not, you got a couple nice drawers there. Three burner, gas cooktop, convection microwave up um, oven overhead. I like this. Extends out, makes your area for preparing or serving the food a little bigger. Huge stainless sink. Not as deep as some of them that we see, but I like the width and the depth of it. Love that. Uh, big household fridge. That's one of the things I was telling you will run off the inverter. So like right now, we don't have the generator on yet. The fridge is on and it's cold. Okay. So this is a fridge just like one you would have in your house. Freezer on the left, built an ice maker, fridge on the right. Um, I think that covers most. Before I forget, I'm going to show you the controls. So all three slide controls are up here. You can start the generator, check your tank levels, turn your water pump on. Uh, the water heater is uh, propane or electric. And then there's your control panel for your Xantrax, that 2,000 watt inverter. Um, the TV does move down. Don't want to forget to show you that. So you just press this button down here and you'll see that the TV moves down and then you have another big window uh, back there behind the TV. So we'll raise him back up just as we finish up here. And there we go. Okay. Um, so we talked about the fridge does have a mid bath and there are sliding doors for privacy where you can block off the bathroom. Do you have a couple little pantry, like slide out little pantry deals to the left of the fridge and then the bathroom. So very simple. You have a, a vanity sink. Love the accent lighting. I mean, that's just cool. Okay. I like that. Um, medicine cabinet over to the left. Big... Um, Full-size mirror there, and then this area. So toilet and shower in one, overhead vent to pull that steam out, taking that steamy shower after a full day of hiking or motor crossing or just traveling, whatever you're doing. Feel good. Um, sliding glass doors, so three doors that slide over. That's on my list of things we missed. And our detail process was cleaning the shower doors. I think they cleaned it like this. So they cleaned this side, and then they cleaned the back side, but they didn't open it and slide it. Uh, big one-piece fiberglass shower, very easy to keep clean. Um, toilet, lots of room in there. King-size bed back here. Brand new bedding, as always. Overhead cabinetry. You have your own uh, roof air dedicated just to the bedroom. And there's that big picture window I was talking about. It is an emergency exit window. Um, so for safety, it's a great thing. And then we have a wardrobe area with a TV, lots of storage. Here's something neat I noticed as I was doing the photos. So when you open this up, you got a couple of drawers in here. thought that was cool, okay? Normally these are just a closet, but good thinking on, on whoever put that together at Jayco. And speaking of Jayco, massive company. You know, Jayco is the, the company that owns, um, Jayco RV owns Integra Coach. So, you know, you have a lot of engineers and designers that are using ideas from the big, big, big boy companies um, for the, the smaller coaches too. And I think that's great. This is uh, currently set up as a closet back here. 
but you can put one of the all-in-one washer dryer combos in. As you can see, it's got the drain, the red valve for the hot water, blue valve for the cold water, and it's already got the electricity. So you can put one of the all-in-one washer dryer combos. Um, there's a gentleman we've actually already kind of shown this coach to. He's very interested, and uh, he had mentioned, you know, does it have the capability of that? So 2019... Jayco Seneca 37 TS, 13,100 and something miles, and like new. Okay, the windshield had a crack. That's the only thing we really seen that it needed. Um, and I'll also mention, there's never a perfect RV. I don't care if it just rolled off the assembly line. There's typically something that it needs. But we try to go over them to the best of our ability. We have... Um, really good reviews. If you go to Google or any of those sites, you'll see some um, responses from customers that we've sold to in the past. And uh, we really um, take a lot of pride in going through each coach and, you know, and trying to make sure it's as good as it can be. That way you're enjoying it and not working on it constantly. But anyways, we deliver nationwide. Uh, we accept trade-ins, got some good financing options. So please... Give us a shout if there's any questions we can answer, anything we can help you with. Appreciate you tuning in. Share the video with two buddies. Say, hey, this Dylan guy on YouTube, he has got some cool videos. They're short. They're sweet, 15, 20 minutes a piece. So if you're in the market, check him out. Oh, hey, those are the covers for this. So it when you put them in, it makes it like flush there. Then there's a cover that goes across, you know, it sets in those little rails. So those are included just for the video. I took them off and put them there. But anyways, thanks again. Appreciate you. Love you. And uh, we will see you on the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bonus coverage. It's been a minute since I've done a video on, you know, I always forget something. The number one thing people will ask is, what does it look like with the slides in going down the road? So here's your answer. I just walked in the entry door. You have about, I'm going to say, 15 inches between the two couches. It gets a little narrow here. Still probably a good, like I'm walking with my legs together, um, and I can walk through that way, so I don't have to like turn sideways and shimmy through. So probably 10 to 11 inches, okay? Right here by the um, sinks to the left, the end of the dinettes on your right, probably another 10 or 11 inches, okay? So you can still get back here and have, which the number one thing is full access to the potty room, okay? And you can still access the king size bed. So we'll turn around and go this way. Again, we're 10 or 11 inches right here. Got a little more room right here in front of the cooktop, another 10 or 11 inches. So wanted to make sure I show you that because that is the first thing that someone will ask. Appreciate it. Thanks for uh, watching that. I just wanted to make sure that we included bonus coverage there for you. Thank you.